This week, top diplomats and new convoys of Seoul, Washington and Tokyo will meet in Hawaii for talks on North Korea. This could signal a sense of urgency following the regime's missile tests as well as its possible resumption of nuclear and ICBM tests. Yoon jong -min provides a glimpse of what to expect. Discussions on North Korea pick up speed this week following a series of missile tests by the regime last month, including the launch of an intermediate-range ballistic missile. The regime has also signaled a possible resumption of nuclear and ICBM tests. On Saturday, chief diplomats from South Korea, the U.S. and Japan will have a trilateral meeting in Hawaii. The meeting involves South Korea's Chong Leung, Antony Blinken from the U.S., and Japan's Yoshimasa Hayashi. It will be their first face-to-face -face meeting since the missile tests, apparently a sign of the urgency of the matter. The U.S. State Department says they will foster cooperation in addressing threats from North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. Experts say Washington might focus on bolstering sanctions this time. The international community's, you know, policy platforms and preferences is, uh, is gearing towards uh, sanctions and, and, and deterrences. So I think uh, trying to, the U.S. is trying to use the current momentum to, to, to bolster the trilateral mechanism between, uh, amongst the U.S. and Japan and South Korea. At the same time, the diplomats will likely be seeking a breakthrough, but it remains to be seen whether Pyongyang will actually respond to calls for diplomacy. As a way to resume talks, South Korea and the U.S. have discussed providing humanitarian aid to the North and formally declaring an end to the Korean War, but there hasn't been much response from Pyongyang. Before the ministerial meeting, South Korea's nuclear envoy Do Gyudo will meet on Thursday in Hawaii. He's U.S. counterpart Sung Kim and Japanese counterpart Takehito Funakoshi. Their talks will likely focus on fine-tuning the agenda for the ministerial meeting, as they will be also part of that meeting this weekend. Separately, Do will hold bilateral meetings with his U.S. and Japanese counterparts. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.